Oh, welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. So we are back with the brilliant Sackboy, a big adventure on the PlayStation 5. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, today, we're probably going to get the final three levels done and be done with this amazing game. Now, in the last video, I did this level right here, and it went very, very well, actually. We found all of the Dream Orbs, all of the costume pieces, got the Rubik's Cube, and I didn't even die, but we didn't get enough points. But as I've mentioned, I've already done it, so I don't really know how many points I need, so that makes it a bit awkward for me, because I'm playing on my main account now. And uh, we did this level right here. We found all of the Dream Orb, all of the costume pieces. We did die, because... Um, I don't know, I got screwed over on one bit, on the spongy bit, where I got hit once and it killed me when I should have just been damaged. And then we died a lot near the end because I was in a bad mood. <laughs> and we didn't get enough points as well because uh, I died a lot of times. But today we're going to do these two levels and then we're going to do the main level and then we'll be done with this playthrough. Might come back to it in the future. Maybe I'll do some of the co-op levels with my sister, but this will be it for now. But let's get straight into it. In full swing, this is a bit of a, a, bit of a pain in the butt, this level. You have to do a lot of um, a lot of swinging, and I think the screen keeps following you, so you can obviously you have to be quick. You got to rush. Only three dreamer orbs to find. I don't think anything was too difficult to get in this level. I might mess up. I might die because like I said it's been a few days since I did this level, and I don't know how many points I need. It's just those eels that cause a lot of issues for you. <laughs> those eels are arseholes. <laughs> Quick. Just trying to bloody remember the buttons at the moment. <laughs> Jesus. Uh-oh. I'll do this bit very quickly because you've got to get the dream roll. Quick, 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 quick. I don't know if you get like a. I don't think there's any, any like slowing down or anything. I think the biggest thing that caused problems were, were for me was that I didn't know I could press circle to break those uh, crates. So I was individually breaking them. Jesus, I flipping hate this. I'm panicking. No! Oh, come on! That's crap, that is. I think if you stand in a certain angle, I think though you can pretty much walk by the side of those eels and they don't even do damage to you. I don't think we're going to get enough points now. No! Oh, thank you, Mr. Eel. Now, I think the final dreamer all is over here. Yeah, so don't jump on the pad because Sumo Digital like to do stuff like this. They like to really wind you up. I fucking hate you, Sumo Digital. <laughs> I hate ya. That is a complete bollocks death, that is. We might have, I don't even know how many points we needed, but we might have even got through to the end with enough points, maybe, even though, even though we died. Because we did pretty well with collecting the points, to be honest. Oh. 
There we go. It's like... If you touch the analog stick, if you just go slightly diagonal or something, then Sackboy like ends up pushing into like some of the uh, terrain, and then you don't get the full momentum of your swing or jump, then you just fall to your death. But you kind of feel like you have to hold the analog stick. <laughs> yeah, but you could probably just let go of it if you're facing the right way, because touching the analog stick is what gets me killed all the time. I swear we might have got through with like 200 too few. I think we need 500, 5,500 or something, I can't remember. I'm going to be very close, ain't I? Oh, we did it! Bloody hell, mate! <laughs> so we perfected the level. We just didn't get a gold rank. Uh, we just didn't get through it without dying. Oh, there you go. That's the outcome that I've wanted. <laughs> Obviously, and not die as well, preferably. But that's the main outcome that is fine for me. Right. The next one is very easy, though. I don't think there's anything we have to worry about in this next one. So we should be okay. So once we've done the world tour stuff, then we'll be on the final level. <laughs> The final level, though, you have to be perfect to get enough points because you need 10,000 points. And obviously, you cannot die. You definitely cannot die in this final level, which is a chore because it's a big level and there's a lot of hazards. And you need to pick up every point that you can. And there's one section where you can get a metric ton of points. So you want to make sure you take full advantage of your multiplier in the next level. But this one, I don't think it was too bad. I don't really remember where the uh, dreamer orbs are, though. I think we need to collect keys. There's one dreamer orb there. This bit's where I die, this bloody jellyfish bit. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's start things off in this one, I think, because I think it's the one I don't like. Yep. Bloody jellyfishes. You want to take your time, but also rush, if you get what I'm saying. Fuck me. Why did he miss? I could have died so easily then. That's why I don't like it. Because I mean, I aimed at it with the bloody world tour and then Sackville was like, nah, we're not going to throw that. We don't want to do that. <laughs> right, uh, we'll do this one now, I think. There's a dreamer orb in this bit. There's a specific crate we can't break. I can't remember which one, though. It has ears in that one, I don't think. Leave this one in case. Nope, it's not that one. It's got to be one of the irritating ones, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Let me stand back so I don't end up getting crushed because we know what happens when I get near a crate. Dreamer Orb number one, I think. Sort of getting a vibe of Crash Bandicoot 3 on this bit. Isn't it? Sort of like Crash Bandicoot 3 in those Arabic levels. In the level where you get the yellow gem in Crash Bandicoot 3. Sort of reminded me of that. Alright, I think the top one is just like a little battle one, which I don't remember if that was too bad. Then we've got another one with those little things that stick their heads out, and I can't remember what the other one was. What's this one? Oh, this one's a piece of crap. Oh, there is... Oh, no, I can't remember how to do this. I'm going to die now. Jesus, good job I remembered that bit. Oi, fuck you. Shit. <laughs> I did the wrong one first. Ah, oh, I knew I was going to end up bloody dead. <laughs> Stop! 
Stop kidding. Stop fucking hitting me there. That's bullshit. There we go. That's how you do it. I faced the wrong way first. Otherwise, I would have been perfectly fine then. <laughs> you need to do to the right first to get past the laser. Then do the other side. But I did it in the wrong bloody order. Because if you don't do it like that, then you fall and get, get poked like I just did. Those little uh, sack boy faces that I pick up, their health if you didn't know. Because I don't really die too often in this playthrough, so you might not have noticed. But we've got through this, through this uh, game very well, to be honest. Out of all the levels we've done, we ain't really died very often. Obviously, the one that playing is kicking my ass at the moment, but, you know. <laughs> I'm not exactly trying really hard to not die. I'm just trying to find all the collectibles. You gotta lure them out with your uh, well tool. Oh, nice. There we go, 500 points. Lovely. Okay. Why didn't you... Why didn't they stick their heads out? I threw the tool over there. I don't know what's bloody going on. I feel like I'm being screwed over in these last two videos. <laughs> you saw me throw my world toll. I guess maybe I just didn't go near them. I don't know. Yeah, see? Oh, I worked perfectly fine that time, though, didn't it? Of course it did. <laughs> Made me lose a po load of points and uh, waste my multiplier. Yeah, of course. Right. Nah, this is just a battling one, I think. I think it's cannons. So a lot to dodge. Hey! How'd you like that, you kids? Lovely. We did pick up all the uh, dream orbs, didn't we? Yeah. One inside the springy face guys. One inside the uh, teleporting one. And one inside the bit with the lasers and the conveyor belts. Yeah, we did get all three. Okay. Did get enough points, though. We definitely didn't get enough points. Oh, nice. Gave me another six, uh, 600 points then. That's very nice of them. Won't be enough, though, because I died twice, didn't I? Or three. Lovely. Now, it's that time of the day where the kids are going to be in the playground screaming and shouting outside my house soon. It's that time of day. And I've got to do the worst level whilst they're doing it. Bloody hell, mate. We did do it. Jesus Christ, I'm really overestimating how many points I need at the moment. I even beat my record. <laughs> I beat my record. Flipping hell. That's a miracle. I did better on YouTube than I did off YouTube. Obviously off YouTube, I didn't actually die. So <laughs> I don't know whether that counts as better or not, but still. Right, now we've just got to do the final level. This level, though, uh, make sure you buy this game. Make sure you buy this game. I'm not going to worry about doing that. But make sure you buy this game because it's a fantastic game. But also, then you can actually listen to the soundtrack because I've not had it on in this playthrough, as you all know. But the uh, soundtrack for this next level, it's like a remix version of the soundtrack from Little Big Planet during the first section of this level because it's a long level. But it is amazing. I love it. It's such a happy, uplifting kind of tune. If you're in a bad mood, listen to the song from this. If you go on Sackboy A Big Adventure... Little Big Finale soundtrack, if you put that onto YouTube, I'm sure somebody would have uploaded it. You're, it'll put you in a good mood. <laughs> oh, lovely.
Lovely jubbly. Right, let's do this. We need 10,000 points for this level, I'm pretty sure. It's either 10,000 or 10,500. You cannot die in this level at all. You cannot die. If you die, then you ain't getting enough points. But I've replayed this level a lot of times, so hopefully we can get through it. We, we probably will die, but hopefully we can just get through it without dying too much. If I don't get enough points, it's all good. But I'll see how we do. We might do it very well. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, lovely. It's a, it's a brilliant level, this. But definitely the most difficult level in the game. Except for the Knitted Knight challenges, obviously. They're obviously the worst. Because they're time trials. You've got to rush. <laughs> Right, well, we're restarting because that was bullshit. <laughs> oh, great. I can hear the kids in the playground. Here we go, Wolf and Wolfettes. Time for the final level to go from being difficult to being flipping not almost impossible. You probably listen to me in my videos and think I don't like kids. I actually do love kids, you know. I've always wanted to be a dad, but it's just the... It's the stupid, unnecessary amount of screaming that they do and just the fact that the teachers don't do anything about it. And I know that when I was at school when I was a kid, because the school is surrounded by so many houses, uh, the teachers used to tell you to have respect for your neighbours and not scream like a flipping spawn of Satan. But they obviously don't do that anymore. <laughs> now they probably encourage it. Go out there and express yourself, children. Scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> That's probably what the teachers say now. Right, that's better. But every single little uh, bubble you see, pick it up. But it's five dream orbs to find in this level, not just three like the other ones. The reason I say pick up every bubble available is because I have actually gotten to the end of a level. I don't know if I've done it in this playthrough, but off camera, I have gotten to the end of a level several times. And I've been missing literally 50, 50 bubbles, where if I had just picked up a few straggling bubbles, I would have easily had enough points. So, you know, it's, it's good to pick them all up. I'm not too bothered, obviously, at the moment. But I would like to get to the end of the level and get gold. Hopefully not die as well. And also, find all the dreamer orbs and stuff. But this is a very long level. Lovely. And double lovely. We haven't found any dreamer orbs yet, have we? <laughs> Not letting me go back. I always do this because I feel like I get a few more points. <laughs> Just a couple. Oh look, it's our friend the crabs. Worst enemy in this game by far. Yeah. Alright, now this is the worst bit in the level. This is where I always die. Now, I got through this level without dying once I'd already gotten the collectibles because there's a dreamer orb that forces you to pretty much redo the sponge bit again and that's what I don't like and then I end up dying. Because the fact I get through it once about dying is already a miracle. But yeah, I recommend doing this level after you've collected everything and then get the points and the no dying stuff done at the same time. But then again, to get the points, you've got to collect everything anyway, so... <laughs> but leave that one dreamer orb behind, maybe. Right. This is what I was talking about in the last video. That's the bit right there. That one little jump is what ruins my day. Alright, we've got to go back around now. The dream orb's down here. Are you fucking kidding me? No, that is some bollocks. I better be in the right place this time. The fact that I even got down here. There you go. I better end up dead now, ain't I? <gasps> no! Yes! Ah! Oh. Alright, alright. 
there's a good chance I could get through the level without dying now as long as I be careful. <laughs> but um, the, the way to get an absolute ton of points, when you go in that flower cannon, you're going to get shot and you're going to get attacked by a massive tower of those little red easy to kill enemies. There's a multiplier on this one, get this one last. And then as soon as you get there, pick up a bomb and try and blow them all up because you can get, my god, you get a lot of points. And don't die. That just blew me up as well. Okay, there we go. I did take a bit of damage, but... Yeah, look at that. See what I mean? 6,900. We, we went up over 3,000 points just from that one little bit there. So yeah, make sure you take advantage of that multiplier. Uh, I don't know if there's anything useful in here. It might be a costume piece. Or is it just bells? Just bells. <laughs> you get a few points, obviously. Uh, the next the next Dreamer Orb is going to be here. Dreamer Orb number two. To get this one, you need to use an acorn. Yeah, we need to bring an acorn back with us. Yep, we need to bring this back with us. Oh shit, how do I put it down, L1? There we go. Oh, I nearly panicked then because I keep forgetting how to put things down. And then I would have thrown the acorn and it doesn't return. <laughs> right, that's going to be the second dreamer orb and it appears over here. bit at all. Try and get it done quickly. We need to collect two batteries. Watch out for those stupid bees. If you lose the batteries in this bit, they do reappear. Because you actually need them to progress through the level. But if you drop them, then obviously you've got to bloody pick them up again, and that means going near those bees again. Actually... I think the biggest problem I have in this game is that I always underestimate how far Sackboy can uh I'll oh, go away. Go away, go away, go away, go away. Come on, flip it now. I always uh, underestimate how far Sackboy can uh float. So I feel like I can't float as far as he actually does. And I think for, for that reason I do actually end up dead a lot for no reason. Right, round here is where there's going to be, I think, another Dreamer Orb. It's either a Dreamer Orb or a costume piece, so you've got to set off the bomb. Dreamer Orb. Is that number three, then? Yep, okay. We're doing all right at the moment for finding the Dreamer Orbs. Oh, yeah, there's a bit at the end, and you have to use the motion controls, and it... I, I don't know, I feel like if I'm... Sometimes when I play this game, it's at a bit... It doesn't feel like it's matched up too well. Oh, it's this bit as well. You want to get a lot of points on this bit, because like I said, I think you need 10,000. Let's see how well I am synced up. Because sometimes I don't feel like I'm synced properly, and you can end up dead really easy on this bit. I fucking hate this. I hate this game sometimes. Yeah, it's not moving completely with my hands. Right, I don't know if this is where the next Dreamer Orb is. Yep. That's Dreamer Orb number four down there. I'm real pissed off now. We're actually pretty close to the end now. There's a lot more of this motion control stuff. You'll see why it's a problem in a minute. I mean, this bit's not too bad, but the it doesn't move perfectly. Oh, 
But this bit right here is a pain. I don't know. I feel like I've really got to like bend my wrists to make him move forward. Yeah. Ah! Yes, it is. Certain directions are fine. It's going forward. And that's like the main bloody uh, direction we want to go. It's like I have to bring the controller like this near enough to go forward. I don't know. It's a bit weird. What's this bit? Oh, no. We have to jump on their heads in this bit. But I'm going to tell you right now, we ain't going to get enough points now. You cannot die in this level to get enough points. I know that for a fact. Okay. Right, the fifth and final Dreamer Orb is going to be in this bit. Yeah, this is the final dreamer orb. And for some reason, for some reason, Sackboy didn't pick it up. Because, you know, I mean, I guess he's forgotten what his main objective is in this game. Thank you. I mean, I had to die to do it, apparently. <laughs> I don't think I ever picked it up, did I? I think it reappeared. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you ain't got to jump, that's why. It looks like it's slightly up in the sky, doesn't it? <laughs> I thought it does. Lovely. But yeah, you need 10,000 points. <laughs> As you can see, I've not got them because I died tw uh, three times. Nice collector bells, though. Lovely. There we go. And that is the final level in Sackboy, a big adventure. A flipping fantastic level. I love it. I love this level. Yeah, it's definitely 10,000. Yeah. We would have gotten that, to be honest. I just got... I got put in a bad mood because I died because <laughs> I died in that flipping uh, that bit with the motion controls I don't know if there was a cutscene that plays I don't know if it's going to play still because I finished the game no normally you get like a little message that pops up to let you know you're done but yeah that is the final level of Sackboy A Big Adventure so yeah Thanks for watching Wolf Morbets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this playthrough. I might come back to the game in the future and do some of the co-op stuff with my sister purely because I want to get the um, the final few costumes because then I can make a video of it. It's probably already been done but I like doing it myself. So uh, I might come back to this game in the future. And also I didn't do the, uh, the flower cannon hidden levels on the map so I suppose we could do them as well. Some of them are pretty fun. Some of them are very annoying. <laughs> but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching Wolf Wolf Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough anyway. And yeah, like, share, and join the pack today.